In this video, I want to explain what is meant by the concept of exchangeability in the context of a sequence of random variables when we start to talk about probabilities. So let's imagine that we've got a sequence of random variables, so x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn. So we've got a sequence of realizations of random variables. Then we say that these quantities x1 through xn are exchangeable if it is the case that the probability of, let's say, x1, x2, all the way through to xn is equal to the same joint probability value if we were to take those particular values and or those particular sequence and permute them in some way, shape or form. So now I've got x of pi of 1, x of pi of 2, all the way through to x of pi of n. And the idea here is that pi here represents any permutation of the indices. So it could be sort of 1, 2, 3, all the way through to the nth one. So that might be one particular sequence, but then it also might be for example, if I start with 2 and then I have n minus 1, etc. So any permutation of the indices is what pi represents here. So these quantities x1 through to x1 are what we call exchangeable if and only if we can write down the same joint probability of any permuted sequence of those random variables. Okay, so that's a sort of mathematical definition. What does it mean in practice? Well, let's imagine that we're flipping a coin. So we've got a coin that can take on either a value of heads or a value of tails. If it takes on a value of a head, let's call the random variable which outputs a value of one, and it takes on a value of zero if it is flipped and it comes up as a tail. So imagine that we have a sequence of throws of this particular coin. And what we have is we have, it comes up as, let's say one on the first throw, one as on the second throw, 0, 0, in other words, tails on the third and fourth row, and then finally it comes up as a head. Then we say that this sequence of random quantities is exchangeable because the probability, the joint probability of these five throws is the same if I were to permute the values within our probability any way, shape, or form. So this is exactly the same thing as the probability of 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, for example, and it's also the same as the probability of 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And in this particular case, there are 60 equivalent sequences because they have all the same joint probability. So in this circumstance, we would say that the random quantities, the result of throws of this particular coin here, are themselves exchangeable random quantities. So that's an example of the case when they are exchangeable. What about for the case when the throws or, or the sort of thing we're talking about are what we call non-exchangeable? What does that mean? Okay, so imagine here that what we had instead is we had, for example, some sort of time series measurement. So here what we had is we had GDP in the year 2000 and then we had GDP in the year 2001. 2002, I'm going to stop writing GDP just because it's getting a bit annoying, just write G. Uh, etc. Well, then in this circumstance, the probability that we would obtain that particular sequence of GDP is not necessarily the same as if I was to permute the value. So instead, I was to move 2002 to here and 2001 all the way out to the end here. And that's quite obvious to see because you would expect there'd be smaller jumps in between the two years or in between consecutive years rather than if we were considering jumps in GDP between, let's say, the first year and the tenth year. So in this circumstance, they are not exchangeable, this sequence of random quantities. 